Why do modern F1 cars look so slow? Modern Formula One cars appear slow to TV spectators. As a show and a business based on entertainment provided to the spectators, this apparent slowness of F1 is an issue in many regards. First, young people interested in car competitions are most often attracted by their speed and the sense of speed they give, in first instance. To attract new spectators, a car competition should pay attention to the TV footage it provides, in particular when competitors propose a better sense of speed on TV. For instance, NASCAR series or WRC. Second, many of the current F1 fans came to it when cars seemed fast, many years ago. It would not come as a surprise that they stopped following F1 for the opposite reason. All the explanations of the apparent slowness of F1 found on the web primarily focus on the advancements in image quality, zoom, and filming methods in general. Though these considerations intervene for sure in the global explanation, they are mostly details in regard of more important, though subtle reasons we will develop in this video. Moreover, we won't discuss onboard footages in this video, since this question has been extensively addressed by many people around. Here is a demonstration that does not need any explanation. But don't get me wrong. Formula One cars are extremely fast in reality. The only question is, why do they look so slow? In addition to the advertisement-focused TV filming and the high stability of modern F1 cars, I give here three more important reasons of the apparent slowness of F1 cars. Comparing animations of short and length cars traveling at the same speed, it is clear that the former ones appear faster as an illusion. Since such an observation cannot be made when no background nor external markers are present around the car, we assume that the explanation of this effect lies in the comparison by the human eye between the size of the car and some external markers. For instance a tree, some spectators, road details, and so on. Let denote by self-crossing duration the amount of time taken by a car to travel a distance that is equal to its own length. For a car with length L and speed V, the self-crossing duration delta T is equal to L divided by V. Therefore, when the size of a car is decreased by a factor 3, it appears three times faster in the sense of self-crossing duration. This is why, for instance, the McMurtry Spearling seems so fast in the videos of Goodwood Hillclimb despite being less than one second faster than the Volkswagen IDR. A velocity difference the eyes alone couldn't detect for two identically looking cars. Look at these two Toyota Super of different size. The second one, though slightly slower, appear faster. Actually, even in the absence of external details, it is possible to evaluate the speed of an object passing by our eyes. This second way for our brain to approximate the object velocity is related to the rate of change of its apparent size. Consider a car of length L approaching an observer, as in this figure. One can show that the angular size of the car is given by a formula in which the length of the car and its velocity both intervene. And guess what? All this formula is saying is that smaller cars look faster, once again. Here is the time evolution of the angular size of three vehicles of different sizes traveling at the same speed. Length of the Ferrari F1-75 is 5.5 meters. Ferrari F2004 is 4.5 meters and RC car is half a meter. It is clear from the graph that the RC car appears as a flash to the observer in terms of angular size, whereas the F1-75 is slower to appear and fade out. Though this effect is probably less impacting than the self-crossing duration, it participates to the overall sense of speed of the current F1, especially at low speeds. In addition to purely visual considerations, an important acoustic effect can impact the sense of speed of a car, the well-known Doppler effect. The observed frequency of a wave source moving with respect to an observer is impacted by the velocity of the source relative to the observer. 
As a consequence, our brain intuitively knows that an object is moving fast if the difference between the pitch of the sound before and after it passes by is large. In an internal combustion engine, a dominant sound wave is produced each time the piston arrives to the combustion stroke. The pitch of an engine sound is dominated by the number of times this step occurs each second. To get back to the Doppler effect, it can be shown that amplitude of the pitch variation is proportional to the base pitch of the engine. This is one of the main reasons why high RPM engines seem faster to our ears. The change in frequency when they pass by the camera is larger than for low revving cars passing by at the same speed. This figure illustrates the variation of pitch from a simulation of two cars passing by a camera located on the side of the road. The transition from high to low pitch has the same form in both cases, but the high revving car induces a steeper frequency change to the ears of the observer. Moreover, the distance to the track impacts the duration of the frequency transition. The further the camera, the less the sense of speed. As a conclusion, it is clear that car size and engine RPM are responsible for a large fraction of the apparent slowness of F1 cars. This is why they look slow even when filming method try to emphasize their speed. In the current context, question the stability of the cars seems unrealistic, as the mentalities tend toward more security, arguably or not. The deplorable filming methods, in the other hand, are so well established that it is hard to think that people getting richer thanks to it will ever change it. Finally, there is a pressure from car brands themselves to maintain low RPM engines for commercial and political reasons. We are then left with reduced car size as the only realistic solution to make F1 entertaining again, especially considering the difficulty for the pilots to overtake on narrow tracks. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in more detailed physics about the arguments provided in this video, please check the link in the description.